Welcome to No Man's Sky Survival Mode. In this part we're going to continue the search for Rubium and I'd like to thank the person who left a comment saying that Rubium is a red mineral. So we're going to fly across the surface looking for Rubium. And I think we might have just found some. That's a red looking mineral so let's... Oh, that was a bit of luck. See what we got here. Anyone else around? Is this Rubium? Yep, look at that. That was. Uh, once I've actually managed to find something that's. I haven't had to spend ages wandering across the planet to find. I don't know if this will. No. Uh, we're going to mine out as much of this as possible, so I'll see you guys in a minute once it's done. Right, guys. We've got 500 rubium. I think that's enough. So. Any other creatures around here? Nope. So. Right, so I think what we're going to do now is head home. And trade in the rubium. See here we've got plenty of plutonium, we've got some various bits and pieces to sell off. Uh, how we got how's our shields? We got iron and zinc to defend and is there anything in here that of any great value? I can get rid of the pugnium. And we can send some of the heridium back. Right guys I think what we're going to do is we're going to do the try and do this in two stages because it's a long hop and <sighs> great. Okay, we'll just do it the the, the funny way. Habitable base is in that direction. Space anomalies in that direction. Oh, there's a scan coming in. So I think we're gonna stay just above the surface, let that scan run, see what it is, and if necessary, duck back into the atmosphere again. Right. Going going down. Has it been cancelled? Right, we're kid for the space anomaly. First this is a very, very long jump. This is about a two minute jump. So there's a good chance we will get scanned again anyway. I had to defend myself against one ship. Actually, let's have a quick look. Uh, yep, we're tier 3, so that, we're actually going and say hello to Nada, I think. Or Polo, actually. So we'll, we'll actually stop off on the Space Anomaly on the way back. Because as I say, when I was travelling back to sell off the stuff and do all the various bits and pieces, I actually had to kill a, a pirate, space pirate. So, so come on, thirteen, twelve, and they're coming out at us again. Still a long way out from Nada. But we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it. 
Ah, oh, the life of space adventuring. Of course, we're going to have to make sure that we've got a slot in our space inventory, which we haven't. So we're going to have to send the Heridium back to the ship and I'll go and say hello to Polo. Hello guys, back again. Um, if you've changed your mind and not asked me for anything else, who builds their ships? Exciting to fight for. Polo moves to embrace me. There'll be our see we can transmit pirate data. I got me cautiously pleased the task was completed, but not willing to let the earlier insult go. They grunt and hand me a blueprint. Homing grenade. Plasma grenade traces and targets nearby life forms, regardless of species and sentinels. Hmm, that could be interesting. Let's see if the. Nah, it's still the same old junky one as last time. Yeah, it's only 21 slots. Looks cool though. So. Drop a save. And where's the space station? There's the space station. Albion pearls, spadonium, rhodium, rubium. This is quite a good system, actually. And as I say, we'll just hop over to the space station. crash into it and then we nip off home give the whatever we need to the scientists if the scientist is rubium I think it's the scientist yep yeah, I actually resorted to writing things down in the absence of the fact that there's no journal so But I think before we go there, I'm going to go and sell everything off first. I'll see you in a minute, guys, once we actually get back to... Well, once I'm back on the base. Oh, well, guys, here we are. We're back at base. And there's our constructor. Let's go and give our scientists some rubium. There's no room for error. Explosives could stabilize the formula with rubium. Okay. Been warned that my science experiment of there. So here's your rubium. Here are the blueprints for a formula for explosives. They are more stable now, but so dangerous. Take care. Explosive formula, eh? No, it went to all heat needed. That's safe transport and handling. Okay. So what we're we going to go looking for this time, guys? There's no more I can teach you, not without years of study. So is that it? Thank you. So that's it. I've exhausted all the research I can do. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. Hope they expand this in the future because, you know, it's. Yeah, but let's see if I've got any space. I should have some space in my exosuit, yes. And uh, what I did is grabbed a bit more of this stuff. So that we can so that just leaves us down to the plant guy I think who wants some terrenium oh okay uh, have I got spaces yeah I got a little bit of space helps didn't mean to do that in my I think we're In the thamium, and we'll just grab the gravitino ball. Yeah, I think this guy still needs terrenium, if I remember correctly. Oh, 
well we'll have to come back and talk to him in a minute after I've offloaded all the goodies so that can go and the spadonium can go that gets rid of it and well, pull back the mordites and I think what we can do now well, no, don't want to store it in there, so what have we got in here? That's my spaceship reserves. Ah, this is, this is where we can store the rubium. Nice, got 512 now, which is a nice haul. And what we're going to do now is... We're going to do a bit of lubricant farming. Uh, I mean, a lot of guys say this is a really quick way, and it probably is a quick way to money, but it's not really the way I do things. I mean, I, I will make do it like this, but we got three, and one of these is my special storage for Gravitino balls. And what I'm doing is slowly building these up, just in case I need them for some reason. So we've now got plenty of space here, so we go over and say hello to the, the farmer. So you're the only person left now with active quests. Yeah, we've got to get Viridium from a green star system. Okay. And just for a bit of extra cash, might as well. Grab a sack venom. Uh, didn't the wall there. And I think we'll go outside, drop a save, oh it's nice and cold outside, it's cold outside, what we're going to do is go back to the space station and sell off what we've just made, the lubricant and the venom sacks, and what should we do now? Uh, we could go looking for a green system, uh, or we could just go exploring, I suppose. Anyway, guys, see you in a minute. Oops, nope, not when I go that direction. It must be this direction. So I'll see you in a minute, guys. Hi, right, guys, welcome back. We're now. I think. I've been thinking about it while I've selling this off as well it's been nice to visit here I think we're going to see if we can find a green system see if we can get that thing this looks like oh this is the actually the black hole there isn't it maybe we can go through a black hole although there's a green system there So tempted. I think before we do that, let's just. It says there's a green system there. But it says we can't reach it, so we've got to get a warp reactor tour to get to that system. Okay, so that means we've got to upgrade our ship. Right, we'll go. We're going to go looking for a black hole. I haven't done any. It's okay, guys. Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna go black hole jumping. And there's the black hole, and we're right in front of it. Now, really and truthfully, ah, it's lost it. Where's the black hole? Black hole discovered, yeah. It was right in front of me. Now it's gone. All I did was turn round. There it is. I think we're going to go for it because we did that save before we did a jump to the system, so... Now here we go, guys. We're going to go through the black hole. And of course, going through black holes means we will incur some kind of damage to the ship. So here we go guys.
We're in system Tarklev Ukra. Uh. Do a scan here. We have traveled a hundred and well, what's that? One, yeah, yeah, it always does that. Oh, great! Right, the first thing is to get into this space station, drop a save. You always want to do this after jumping through a black hole. Abandoned building detected, rare technology. Come on. Of course, our technology is damaged, so we're going to have to see what we need to do to repair that. And of course, we're being scanned. This is a cheat, really. This is a diabolical cheat. Come, um, nineteen eighty. Oh, mostly harmless. Yeah, well, I've got I'm a damage got a damaged ship, so. There's nothing I can do about that. Without the secondary shield protectors, fighting is absolutely as good as useless. So we need a, a third level warp reactor. Which means we've got to get very serious now about getting a ship upgrade, guys. And I mean a big time ship upgrade. Let's have a look. What to be dam? What to be get damaged on the ship? Right, heridium. We need five carlite sheets. Well, we should be able to do that quite easily. We've got the heridium, and the other one is chrysanite. Great, and I've got chrysanite back at home base. So I could go home and repair that. Actually, we could go and probably go and buy it. Actually, so let's just go and see if we can buy some chrysanite. Check in with the guys up here, see if they've got anything of value. No, let's go and check out these guys. This is the consequence of jumping through black holes: is that you, your ship invariably takes damage. Oh, it looks like. This is a Corvax system. Hello, Mr. Corvax system. Geologist entity Remini. Right up there, lights power, lists power. Uh, I'll go for solved occasion. It probably I form chitters happily. My body's reload, accelerate, and tour. Thank you. Health is at maximum. Uh, I like that. Uh, I don't think we've got anything to sell. Nope. So we'll just see what we can buy. Oh, we've got 48 cries a night. That will do the job nicely. Uh, we're certainly going to take the titanium and the zinc. So we've got plenty of cash. So. And that should allow us to fix that. Give eight cries of light left over. And all we've got to do now is get down onto the ground and find a source of carbon. And we're cooking, guys. We're back in business. Ours. Oh, Actually, this ship's going to cost a lot more than. I like this ship. But I bet you it's going to be a lot more of them than what I've got. Rabla. We could offer for the life form ship. Yeah. 25 slots, 3.3 million. And he's still only got two levels of hyperdrive. So basically, we're looking at several ship upgrades now. Unless we can. Actually, I haven't tried that actually. Um, send that back. What have we 
got here. And we've got tier two pulse drives. We haven't got anything to do with tier three hyperdrive. So, okay. Oh, look at that. There's some nice ships in this system. Elite bounty, 300,000. Yes, yeah, Chrysogen. Yeah, we're not going to go after you unless you, you. I'm the bounty. Aluminium, Heridium. You've got Corsagen, Gold and Nickel, Heridium. You've got an abandoned building. What have you got here? Gold, Nickel and Heridium. Piano recharging. Let's see what you've got here. Corsagen, Gold, well, we might as well just go down onto this planet here. Well, we're not going to go chasing you guys, even with my ship repaired. So here we are guys, we're going to put go down here, we're going to look for some iron, uh, maybe grab some Corsagen. There's, actually, we can get some glass, can't we? That's true. So usual routine, I'll fly across the surface until we find a place to land which I know we might have found somewhere straight away for once it's got a landing pad and it's got a landing pad, look at that how, about, how sweet that is you don't do that very often any goodies on here? yeah there's always some goodies somewhere Restore health. Well, we're just going to pop in here because, of course, we're going to need to. Health is at maximum. Yes, I know. Some more stuff to sell off. Uh, Mr. Clawvax, recall stabilizer tour. Fields at maximum. A nice little haul. Research ready. Right, let's check out the path. Path of Regnos. No, that's still not an upgrade on what we've already got. Sell off what we've just found. It's probably not much. Right, oh, we've got a Vikin dagger. Get rid of that. Oh, there's some head rocks there as well. I don't want that clogging up my system. Oh no, that's to buy. What am I on about? Getting delusional. Hello, Mr. Corvax. Corv Entity Isley. Isley. So, high. Nutrients high. Uh, electronic life he needs to help with something on the screen. He jerks and vibrates with nerves before pulling his finger towards the screen. Where when his hand is in place, turns on, but lights off, refusing to witness my vital decision. Uh, try predators. Receives a new a life form. Receives a new multi tool. Twenty one. Uh, uh, I think mine's still better. Yeah. Mine's mine's jazzier than that. Sorry about that, guys. Right, let's go check out the base on the other side. Of course, it's going to get cold because this is a cold planet. Like it is, it's always cold on these planets. But we should be able to top up, if necessary, with the shields. But we're just going to... And there's another Corvax guy in here. So, that's good. Entity Vetnom Corvax Echoes Electronic life form is waiting for you. A full range of companion unit Bluetooth is completely visible on the screen. 
Protective green for oh, my multi of deep violet red. Let's go for a peaceful green option. Gives me an exo technology blueprint. Stamina. Oh, I think I've already got that. Great. Oh well. Pays your money, takes your chance. That's what life's all about. 166 credits. We actually need to work on also getting an Atlas Pass level 2, which means we're going to have to visit more anomalies. So. Actually, while we're here. Oh, we've got to. That's the number one target, isn't it? To repair. To fuel the pulse engine before I waste all the fuel. Right. Actually, can we manufacture more shielding plates if necessary? Yep, iron and plutonium. Iron. Right, believe it or not, we're going on a quest for iron, guys. Thamium there, we'll go in that direction so that we can pick up some thamium on the way. Looks like there's a cave or something down that way, so anyway, so. And in ca caves we find iron. And of course we've got some. Always got to pick up some plutonium. down there oh this is exactly what I'm looking for this will give us a nice big bodge of iron there's a cleft there, so that so looks like there might be a cave down here for us to stand in while I actually built the car light sheets. And there's a bit of chrysogen in here as well, that's nice. Yep. Yeah, this is exactly... I can... I can see you. And another one. Yep, this is exactly where I'm looking. Oh, I'd like the idea of this. We can come over here and just stand under the. Right, let's get the. Make some car light sheets. Make sure the. Got a slot, spare slot, yep. So, one, two, three. No, nope, need more iron. That's about saying car light sheets can be quite expensive on the. Oh, why is it not shaft? Now it's showing me the consumption of my. Better top up my mining beam while I'm at it. should top it up and then we can get that I mean I know some guys actually quite are quite normally quite happy to travel with damaged kit but I, I like my, my stuff to be fully repaired and ready to go especially defensive capabilities like that yeah right so that's nice and repaired where well, we can mine a bit more iron and I think what we'll do is we'll go and check out this cave on the way through. Let's see what we can grab down here. Yep. 
Yeah, 150 iron. It's a nice little haul. Some entrium there. So, what's down here? Kind of working our way back towards the ship here. Bit of entrium here. So, yeah, I think we're work away our way this way. Oh, no, no, suddenly thought I was going to be in the dead end, but we're not in the dead end yet. Might be now. Ah. Okay guys, done my usual thing, I've got lost in a cave. If necessary we will blast our way out, but I'll see if I can find a way out first. I'll see you in a minute guys. Oh well, it looks like for once I've actually managed to find my way back to an entrance without having to tunnel my way out. So we're back where we've started from. I think we'll grab a bit of carbon on the way through guys. There's some more. We'll uh, throw out a scan, see what's around here. Thamium at the base there. Some tech over that way, some platinum over this way. Okay, blast the tree out of the way. Pick that stuff up. Platinum over this way, so we'll just keep going in this direction. Got to keep an eye on the uh, environmental protection now because my top up is worn worn out. But we'll be okay. So we're just stabilizing. Some more carbon, charge our multi tool back up again. Yep, Let's run across here, get back under the protection of these caves. I think I've just walked right round in a circle again. Oh, I don't know. bit more iron, carbon. Actually, let's just make sure my how much iron have we got? 203. I think what we can do is send the surplus iron to the ship. Got a couple of slots. Hello, Mr. Sentinel. I'm minding my own business, you mind your business and we'll be working along fine. Uh, I think the plutonium can go there and the chrysonite can go there. I think we've got... Oh, we've got no surplus platinum. So, my thamium starship out of range, great. Always wanted my starship to be out of range. What have we got this way? Nothing. I think this way, so we'll just walk around this way. Looks like there's some tech stuff over there. Well, I think we'll go and check out the tech stuff. If we can get something to upgrade our ship or anything, it will be much appreciated. It says it's over here somewhere. Oh, what have we got here? Anything of value? Gold. Oh, I've got some gold. 
Okay, let's mine some gold. I haven't mined any gold at all yet so far. And you can see here, compared to the great lumps that used to be up, tucked up on the surface, now the gold is actually underground, so you've got to look for it a little bit, more, which is makes it more interesting. So I'm going to stand here and mine some gold. So I'll see you in a minute, guys, once I've mined the gold out. Right, guys, I think I've got enough gold now. Now, why have I mined this gold? Well, I haven't mined it to actually, if we go this way, to sell it. I think we're going to make enough cash from lub lubricant. Uh, from lubricant, what we're actually going to be doing is using it to, because gold and emerald are, can often are often the required elements for repairing the higher technologies, especially the uh, warp drives and the pulse drives. So, what I want to do is kind of lay in a a stock of gold, thamium, plutonium over there. Wow, we have to really get a crack on here, I think, guys. And we'll just get across and grab that Famium. We're going to have to use a shield, building shard here. A new one, and I've used up a bit of my carbon supplies mining that that gold, so I can see you. And we're just gonna walk and mine, walk and mine. a bit of a run yeah we'll be okay we'll be okay we're only one and a half minutes out but I think that looks suspiciously like more plutonium titanium we're certainly going to take that ah oh, crapola that was a waste that was a massive waste but I think I'll be coming back here to and well yes I know I know this is it's getting dark now so it's going to get even colder I think we'll be coming back here to grab even more uh, see if we can find even more titanium titaniums seems to be quite rare now Well, looks like we've got something here, so we're... Oh, just a pod. Yeah, we're nearly there, so we'll be okay. Don't worry. Why's my ship? Oh, because I've got all that gold, haven't I? Wow. Gold and carbon. Oh, a little stupid amount of carbon in there. So, I've got chrysogen, aluminium, oh, gold. Grab some more carbon while we're wandering around here. Right, guys, I think this is where I'm going to kind of bring the recording to an end. We've been going for nearly about 45 minutes. What I'm going to do now off camera is I will take the gold and everything back to the base and do all the necessary bits and pieces. And then we're going to pick up probably back on this planet or in this system. And then I think what I'm going to do is we've got fuel for two more jumps. So I think what we might do in the next part is 
do a couple of quick hops to use up that fuel before we seriously go looking for another ship. So this is where I'm going to leave it, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the episode, and until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.